<laughs> so here we are back at what we're gonna name for now ghetto fab we're doing some pretty wild shit this is my good friend emilio hey. we are welders and fabricators and now we've been tasked with uh building a two-door jk on one tons this is how far we are so far so basically we're starting with the rear because we're doing a rear half kit on it which is a motorbuilt kit that you cut the back half of the frame out which we've done basically cut a jeep in half and it was it was so beautiful when it came in it's kind of it's kind of sad to cut it all apart but it's going to be awesome when we're done so uh emilio is going to fill you in on what we've been doing today and here he is I mean, the new frame sections that are probably about twice as thick as the back three, so we don't have to worry about breaking these. As long as we can get everything cut out, uh, it's dusty work, but we're getting it done. So basically, we had to finish cutting the rest of the tub pieces out to fit the motor belt. So we're doing the rear half with their inner tubs. So we've cut out the entire wheel tub, and these are basically their inner tubs that replace them. That you can see so i'll show you underneath here what it looks like on the inside of the wheel well we we had done our armor on the outside but we haven't done our rear cuts here because we wanted to keep some structure until we link this this is the front portion captures a body mount here these come with the kit and you weld them on for the forward body mount which captures the body right here obviously and then you'll piece it together Here's one junction that goes to this portion of the tube. We beveled it. Sorry. We beveled everything on the edges so we get good penetrating welds and then we're gonna scab plate over those so that we have added strength in that junction of the frame. Because right in here is where the coilover is gonna live and the hydro bump stops. We're using all rad flow stuff from, from Wide Open Designs. They hooked us up and we had stuff within 24 hours for uh, the customer. But we're basically gonna add this, the rest of the portion here on the floor, which joins up to that rear section. And that actually fits their motorbuilt rear bumper as well. It actually, it fits it really well. So we're gonna get this stuff all jigged up. Basically get this rear portion of the frame tacked up in place, make sure everything jives and then we're gonna burn it all in permanently. Then you have a brand new rear portion of the frame. And the biggest thing with these is you can see in the inner tubs how much we cut out to fit those inner tubs and the frame narrows. So it kicks up and you can see it kicks up and in and it'll live right in here. So you cut that portion of the tub out so that you can place coilover mounts, towers or whatever. We're probably gonna end up using our tech stuff we have some Artec towers to place our coilovers on the frame here. So it's gonna be really awesome when we're done. We're just basically doing all the grunt work to get all this stuff into position. We've cut out the entire inside of the tub. We've roughly fit these up, just set them in there. We're not gonna put those in until the entire frame, rear, rear half frame section is actually done and fully welded. Then we'll put the rear tubs in and we have a Genrite cage that we'll be working on next before we get to any of the any of the axle and suspension stuff underneath. We're going to do the Genrite cage in here. You can already see the dash bar that's already put in there. That takes a good bit of work to get basically all this drilled and all your hardware put in and put that dash bar in. That basically locates the rest of the tube from the A-pillar. The B pillars end up landing right here. So it captures one of the seatbelt bolts and goes in there and we're gonna weld it in. And then this top plate is what your cage actually sits on for your B pillar. The C pillar we're gonna have to get a little creative with since we cut out the rear portion, we actually are gonna modify the Genrite mount that'll sit here on the fender for the C pillar tube and then we're gonna brace it from the frame underneath. So once we have the frame frame section in here, we're gonna brace it with a uh, polymer bushing mount on the frame so that it'll float with the body mounts. But we're gonna brace it up to the inside of this 
basically the inside of this and it'll capture through that panel and it'll support the C pillar of the cage. A lot of work to be done still. We're getting it done. We're actually really excited to see this thing. Here in a couple weeks, it'll be a roller and it'll be on freaking one ton uh, fusion axles. We got a Dana 60 and a shave 14 bolt. So this thing's gonna be pretty wild when we're done. So uh, keep checking us out, check out our progress and uh, we'll keep you updated.